the best place on Earth. We have some of the world's most spectacular terrain. And some of the world's biggest transportation challenges. It takes big thinking to build a transportation system in such a place. To build the best system, we have undertaken the biggest transportation expansion in provincial history. We understand that transportation is truly opportunity in motion. A transportation corridor would open up opportunities of the Asia Pacific to the entire nation of Canada. Changing patterns in world trade are creating even bigger opportunities for BC as Asia and North America become the world's biggest trading partners. The Port of Prince Rupert is a critical component in our Asia Pacific strategy, connecting Canada and the North American market to Asia and the world. Bird's eye view of the operation. British Columbia is Canada's Pacific Gateway. As Canada's Pacific Gateway, BC has a big advantage in attracting more of this expanding trade. BC has a natural geographic advantage. Our ports of call are Asia's closest ports of entry on North America's west coast. Up to 58 hours closer. The container operations here in Prince Rupert are quick ship the rail transfer. This transported through Prince Rupert could arrive in Chicago even before they leave LA. Our goal is to get the cargo to market by rail in five quick days. With rising fuel prices, this proximity means big savings for shipping companies and a smaller carbon footprint. Compared to truck transport, rail significantly reduces energy costs, greenhouse gas emissions, and highway we congestion. We work to reduce the congestion that we have in this region. We increase economic activity. Expansion at the Port Metro market. Vancouver will increase capacity nearly threefold by 2020. Big improvements in rail, terminal, and transload facilities are also creating new opportunities for backhaul freight. The Gateway Initiative is actually revolutionizing the movement of goods between North America and Asia. The Pacific Gateway is also opening wider at airports to support expanded business and tourist travel between Asia and North America. We are Canada's Pacific Gateway. One of the most important components of that strategy has to be the opportunity for us to have access to open skies. BC is making big investments in expanding highways and bridges and improving roads throughout the province. In order to make sure British Columbia has a strong economic future, we have to invest in northern BC. That's what the Simon Fraser Bridge is all about and all of the other projects that we'll see unroll over the next number of years. We're going to move British Columbia forward even during difficult economic times. Way in motion technology weighs and measures commercial vehicles in transit at highway speeds. It's taking pictures and recording data. Easier access will expedite the salvage of fiber from trees killed by the mountain pine beetle. Faster we can get our roads into the beetle killed wood, faster we can get it out and get it into the mill. If it weren't for the dock roads, the highways, this business couldn't survive. Using hot in-place paving technology to resurface roads costs about 30% less than traditional hot mix asphalt. We take an old road and we turn it into a brand new road. We recycle, we reuse, we reduce uh, CO2 emissions by up to 50% per tonne of asphalt. The environmental considerations in the project have been closely followed to make sure that no silt enters the water course, which is Hickson Creek. We're staking the cut line for the Highway 97 widening. Road expansions and improvements near Fort St. John and Charlie Lake are enabling the development of BC's oil and gas resources. Expansion and improvements at border crossings will expedite the flow of people and goods between Canada and the U.S. and help keep the Pacific Gateway open 24-7, 365 days a year. British Columbia is a world leader in transit. We're making some of our biggest investments in provincial history. The $14 billion investment in the future of communities in British Columbia. There's never been a time when we have done so much in so many different areas. These investments in transit will enable us to meet our ambitious goals. Well, we expect ridership will double from what it is today. We're building new rapid transit lines 
implementing clean energy buses and rapid line bus routes in cities and towns throughout the province. Rapid bus services in Victoria, one in Kelowna, and seven in the greater Vancouver area. This will be the largest hydrogen bus fleet in the world. These projects combined will allow a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions equivalent to parking all the cars in Greater Vancouver for an entire year. It's all about climate change, green energy, and British Columbia will lead the way. It's going to take a range of solutions to reduce carbon emissions and still drive our economy forward. You know, a bus that emits zero emissions, you know, from a GHG point of view, it's something we're all looking for. We now have the third largest clean technology hub in the world. We're expanding and integrating our cycling network with transit services. Better cycling infrastructure encourages more people to ride bikes. British Columbians will now be able to travel more places safely, conveniently, and faster with greener modes of transportation. 400 meters long, 90 meters high. 25,000 meters of concrete. The new bridge will have five lanes, a few weeks ahead of schedule, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Each opening of new transportation infrastructure helps open big new opportunities for the people of British Columbia to get on with business, the business of living. Continued investment in transportation infrastructure is what's going to build BC's future. Along with creating bigger opportunities, BC is innovating new ways of building the world's best, most sustainable transportation system through public-private partnerships to secure better value for BC taxpayers, through better engineering design and construction techniques for improved safety and sustainability, and through new partnerships with First Nations in building transportation infrastructure. Transportation infrastructure really is the lifeblood of our economy public-private partnership delivered a project 19 months early on budget. By working together, the provinces and Ottawa can make Canada stronger, safer and better. The federal government and the province will partner with municipalities in British Columbia and launch an additional $719 million worth of community like infrastructure projects in the province. Perhaps the most important innovation is the change in thinking about transportation and climate change. To ensure a sustainable future, British Columbia has innovative plans for continuing to minimize emissions. When we look at the big picture, the growing opportunities for BC and Canada to benefit from changing patterns of trade. Pacific Gateway struck trees up our economy. Great opportunities. Strengthen our province. The massive investments we're making in transportation by sea, air and land to take advantage of that opportunity. Future expansion. Cooperation. Collaborating with one another. There's always a challenge when you do something first. The innovative thinking and policies that will allow BC to expand our transportation system officially open. Continue to work to reduce the congestion while simultaneously reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Increase the quality of life. When we look at all this, all that has been accomplished, all that is underway or in the planning stage, to meet the needs of the future. We can be confident that we're catching opportunity in motion. We can be thankful that we have the vision and the resources to build a transportation system worthy of the best place on earth.